everyone welcome back to my channel I am Arundhati and today we are going to see how to make a granny square this is the simplest granny square that there is we are going to learn it how to make it in a single color so to make a granny square we begin with a magic circle and start making rounds so this gets uh, repetitive in nature once we go beyond the first round and that is why it's a good idea for a beginner to learn this granny square once you've learnt a granny square there are a number of projects that you can make with it if you continue making it in a form like this you can make it into a blanket or if you prefer to join these squares make multicolored squares like this and then join them you can make blankets, bags, curtains, jackets there are lots of things that we can make with a granny square so to begin with we have to make a magic circle to make a magic circle there is a dedicated video and I'll leave a link but I'm going to show it here too hold the short end of the yarn like this take it over your two fingers wrap it around and bring it in the front from the back and bring it like this over the two fingers again so in the front you're making an X at the back you can see two parallel lines go under the first one above the second one and pull it now do a chain 3 okay and I'm going to make the circle a little small to make it manageable place another two double crochets into the same circle now the first round is going to be worked into this circle so we've placed the first set that is chain 3 and two double crochets that's the first set now chain 2 and place another set of three double crochets so in the first one the chain 3 that we made at the beginning that's going to count as a double crochet so we've made one set we did chain 2 and we've made another set of three double crochets now on the corner we will make a chain 2 and place another set of three double crochets into the circle like this then chain 2 and place another set of three double crochets I pulled it there again to make the circle a little small and here you'll see two yarns running parallel that's okay it is not going to create any problem place another three double crochets into the circle chain two and now pull this yarn really tight I have pulled the shorter edge pull that short tail really tight and it looks like this okay now we are going to join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain 3 if you'd like you can put a marker there when you do the chain 3 it gets a little easier so that is how we've made our first round so what we've done here is this bit we've done this bit so on every corner we are going to do chain 2 to give it a space to make set of uh, two sets of three double crochets on every corner so now we are here and we have to begin with round 2 now I am going to slip stitch into the next two double crochets like this on the top and reach the corner space of chain 2 I am going to do a slip stitch there too so I am secured there properly and then do chain 3 now this chain 3 can be substituted with a standing double crochet also I will just show you how to do a standing double crochet but because this is a beginners tutorial it is absolutely up to you if you want to use a chain 3 or a standing double crochet to make a standing double crochet pull the yarn to a height of a double crochet 
twist twist the hook take the hook around the yarn like this and keep holding onto the loops then place inside the chain 2 space pull up a loop yarn over pull through 2 and pull through 2 that's how a standing double crochet is made now we are going to place another 2 double crochets into the same place that's the corner one so on every corner we know we have to place 2 sets of 3 double crochets so right now we have made 1 set chain 2 and place another set of 2 double crochets in the same space now we have to reach the next corner to reach that corner we are just going to do a chain 1 reach here and repeat placing 2 sets of 3 double crochets with a chain 2 in between so let's make that at the end of row 2 this is how it looks now we are going to do a chain 1 after the last double crochet and join with a slip stitch to the top of chain 3 or the standing double crochet now we will place slip stitch on top of the next two double crochets and reach the corner spot make a slip stitch there and either do chain 3 or do a standing double crochet that's how we do a chain 3 or do a standing double crochet alright and then continue placing two double crochets there chain two and another set of two double crochets in the same corner space now you'll see a difference between what we were doing till now and this row is that we are going to place a single set of three double crochets so now chain one and we've reached a space where we had done a chain one in every chain one we are going to place a single set of three double crochets like this chain one you've reached the corner and we will place two sets of three double crochets with chain two in between that was chain two and another set of three double crochets so this round and rounds henceforth are going to be in the same rhythm every corner we do two sets of three double crochets with chain two everything in the middle is chain one and single set of three double crochets so let's continue making and meet again now we've reached the last side of the row I have made here the first one second third and fourth this is the fourth row that's the last side so after I've placed the corner stitches I'm going to do a chain one and into the chain one space place a single set of three double crochets then a chain one and the last set of three double crochets into the chain one space chain one and join with a slip stitch to the top of standing double crochet or chain three whatever you had made okay so now this is made I'm going to stop the square here so to stop the square I'm going to do a slip stitch into the next two stitches going to reach the corner and do a slip stitch then do a chain one and pull it really tight okay now I'll cut the yarn I 
and pull out the yarn like this okay so this is how the simple granny square is made now we just have to sew in the ends of this yarn to sew in the ends of the yarn we have the wool needle we are going to put it in and then go in the same direction that the yarn is currently in like this go under the stitches but don't come out on the other side so once we go under the stitches like this you can see nothing is seen on the other side just pull it through then go in the reverse direction just to make it really secure like this okay now just cut the yarn close to the project like this and same is the case with yarn here okay so we were, this is the wrong side reverse side and we are going to sew it into the stitches like this okay and then okay let me just come down a bit so that the chopped edge is not seen so I'm going to come into the square like this and then let me cut the yarn because however close we cut some yarn will be always seen like this the small little thing so if it's on the edge it is even more visible so let's do this that's the wrong side this is the right side and this is how the simple granny square looks like i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching